Highest Good Design. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 456. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51 c 3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing up people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on the planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our December 19th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is highest good design. And from our perspective, High School Design is about setting aside our differences and working towards positive transformation for the good of all people and all life on the planet. And we consider this as something that is non-controversial, non-political, should be non-political, and really just common sense. And so we're working towards that. Like we want to create a better world for everybody. And one community wants to create something that everyone can use. Not one thing that everyone can use, but create enough of highest good approaches to living so that there is something there for everyone. And so to achieve this, we are creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And we've divided that into categories. We've divided into categories of physical sustainability and emotional sustainability. And so the physical sustainability components everybody's familiar with, they're food, energy, and housing. And so we've got open source plans, tutorials, resources, and designs covering food, energy, and housing. But we've also addressed the emotional sustainability components, which we've identified and we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all of these things together to demonstrate a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be far superior to way that, to the way that they're living right now. And so when we talk about highest good of all, we talk about an evolution of sustainability. It takes the physical foundations, the emotional foundations, puts them together in the complete teacher demonstration hub environment, which is what we're working towards to build, is teacher demonstration hubs that combine all the physical foundations, all the emotional foundations, put them together and demonstrate what life could be like if it's based on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition, if it's based on people working together with common goals and common values to create an amazing space. And the beauty of what it is that we're doing is that the more fun we can demonstrate, the more amazing the environment is that we can create, the more artistically beautiful it is, the more enriching it is, the more personal development and growth, the more things there are to do, the more we can demonstrate that through cooperation and collaboration and combining our resources, we can have more of the things that most people want money to buy without having to have a monetary exchange within that environment. Like most people don't need their own vacuum cleaner. They just need access access to a vacuum cleaner when they need a vacuum or a drill or a weed whacker or whatever it is. And really, or a quad or a bicycle or a motorcycle or a jet ski or a game room or a basketball court or a tennis court or a soccer field. I mean, I can go on and on. So the idea is to create really luxury lifestyle eco communities and to open source and free share them, make them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate them as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. This is what one community is all about. Like this, this is what we see as one path to a sustainable civilization within our lifetime. And from our perspective, the best and most viable path to a sustainable civilization within our lifetime. If we can make it easy enough, affordable enough and demonstrate these environments as attractive enough, as enjoyable enough to live in, as an environment where people are really living a healthier, more abundant, thriving lifestyle of pleasure and expression and self-growth and contribution and and collaboration and an environment that is more resilient, more sustainable, that is self-sufficient. So it checks off all the boxes, you know, of the, the, the six human needs that are most foundational to our happiness and shows that show that we can replicate that affordably and make it available to anybody anywhere then we can accre- we can achieve a sustainable planet within our lifetime we can reach that tipping point we can reach that critical mass of enough participation 
so that we could truly say that our sustain, our civilization has, a chain, has achieved sustainability and so that we can positively touch the lives of everyone on the planet. Now, how do we do that? Well, if one community is an established organization can inspire two more communities the next year and the media attention that that will predictably a draw and the, the interest in what is it we're creating and making easy enough and affordable enough can inspire then four more the next year after that. And then those four, eight more after that and 16 more after that and 32 the year after that. If you were to continue that multiplication process within 30 years, you would include more than the entire population of the planet. But we don't need the entire population of the planet to achieve that critical mass, to achieve that tipping point. We just need enough participation to positively impact the lives of everybody on the planet and to establish sustainability as mainstream to make sustainable construction like you see in the background of this video the norm you know to stimulate the entire sustainability industry so that people say yes i want to live in a house that isn't painted with toxic paints that doesn't have toxic adhesives in the carpet that doesn't have toxins in the carpet itself in the materials of the carpet in the materials of the building i want to eat food that's not sprayed with any of the primary three uh, poisons that are sprayed on our food right now, herbicides, fungicides, and insecticides. You know, I want to drink water that doesn't have anything added to it that is nutritious and clean and pure. I want to breathe air that doesn't have lead or mercury in it. All of these things. I want to live in a world that I am going to gift to my children and my grandchildren as something that is sustainable, that they can be proud of and know is going to be there for their children and their grandchildren. This is what we are doing. This is what our all-volunteer, non-governmental, or 100% volunteer, 100% unpaid, non-governmental, non-profit organization creating this because we want to live this way and we want to share this as an opportunity to take the resources where they're needed most in the world, to build sustainable teacher demonstration hubs that don't just bring resources, but teach people how to create additional teacher demonstration hubs to teach others as well. Spreading this idea by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough and showing that highest good design, cooperative and collaborative living, designing for the highest good of all people in life on this planet is beneficial to all of us. First and foremost to me, but to my fellow community, to my local region, to my nation, and to my family, my planetary, my global family, the global brotherhood and sisterhood of people working together for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so one community is creating a place for people that are interested in this, that want to create this in their life and that want to share this and want to be a part of creating a better world for everybody, that feel the calling to make a difference in the world. We're creating a place for those people to come together and to open source and free share all the highest good designs that we've been developing for the last 10 years to make it easy enough, affordable, and attractive enough for others to develop this and design it and demonstrate it around the world and to add their own flair, their own iterations, their own changes, and let human ingenuity and creativity take it to the next level. Creating the prototype as a starting point, a project launching blueprint designed to help others to not just replicate it, but to replicate it and um, evolve it and improve it and grow it into something even better than what it is that we're creating. It's a starting point, an amazing, beautiful starting point, but our hope and our expectation is that it is truly just the beginning of something even more amazing. And so this is what we're up to. This is what our all-volunteer team is doing. The more amazing we make it, the faster it will spread. The more we open source and free share, that is our marketing campaign, is to open source and free share and give away everything that we're creating. So if you wanna see what that looks like, visit our website. If you'd like to see exactly what our all volunteer team has done in just the last week, visit our website, like Google the name of this, this video and visit our blog, our weekly progress update blog, that will share exactly what that is. And if you'd like to see specifics and details of everything that, that are all the major components of our of our project, stick around for another couple minutes and you'll see that as well. So this is what we're up to. Thanks for watching to the end. Of course, visit our helping page if you'd like to get involved. And until next week, we of course, keep on keeping on with high is good design and design. Thanks. The one community approach to high is good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center.
It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.